I got some chicken, making some chicken en enchiladas. There's, um, four, I got four or five pieces of chicken. I'm gonna shred them. There's onion and garlic, and some, I put some lemon pepper and salt. And just let it boil, and then when it shreds, I'll show you how to do the, like how I do my enchilada sauce, because everybody got their own way. I do mine this way, but I'm gonna boil the chicken first, and as soon as it boils, I'll get back to you. So, I'm back. Now I'm over here cooking. Uh, I don't like videos today, so I'm doing it. Okay, now I'm doing it. The the tortillas for the enchiladas, and then you just go like this. Just let them um, get some oil in there because you don't want them to get they're gonna be dry if you don't. And this is the way I do all my food. Um, so all you keep on going is putting your tortilla in here, corn, let some oil get on it. You just turn them over like that. And then you keep on going until you've got like about two dozen, whatever you want. But let the oil come out of this. And you keep on going. And then I'll be back when I shred the chicken and I start my sauce, okay? Come back to you guys soon. Okay, I brown my rice. I'm back. I brown my rice. And just with the onion, salt, or however you like the flavor. And then I put the tomato sauce. And this time I'm gonna make my rice a different way. With uh, the chicken broth that I boiled the chicken with. I did roast the chicken and everything, and I boiled it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this inside here and this is, your, this is your chicken broth from your chicken and it comes out really really good and that's the way I do mine and then I have my tortillas for I have to, I fry them each tortilla because if you don't they're gonna come out really dry so you want to put a little oil so you just fry them really quick on each side then take them out and then I made a stack so I can do it. Then you just let this boil when it comes to a boil. Then you're just gonna turn it on low and cover it and that's it. Then you could taste it to see if that's the taste you want. Has enough salt, has enough everything in it, but mind us. So um, just let that boil. Once it boils, you just put it on low and then cover it and then just let the steam in. That could be like this. Okay, she's treading like chicken. No? Show them. Okay. For the chicken enchiladas. And they're going to be green, by the way. Okay, I'm going to do my sauce. I'm doing it from the can right now. My daughter and I'll show me how to do it homemade. Because she knows how to do it homemade. Enchilada sauce. Doing it from the can. Just put some oil. About a spoon of flour. You don't need too much up there Show them and, the then, and then you're see this is a can i'm using enchilada sauce there's another can oh shoot okay and then get some seasonings you just want to get it because you want the the sauce to get thicker so you're just doing it like that just real quick but what i do when I'm doing it in my can anyway, I know all of them. Uh, get a little bit of salt, not a lot, just a dab. And then some, I, everybody likes a lot of lemon pepper on here. Some lemon pepper, this one I get the cheap one. <laughs> just some of that, you put, cause you need the flour to make the enchilada stick too. So, I mean to get it thicker. So I'm gonna put it right here. Let it start going. You don't want it too thick. It depends how thick you want your enchiladas. And then you just pour that in and keep on mixing. If you want it as thick as you want it. Because after it boils, it's going to start getting thicker anyway. And just keep on. And then I got my cheese and my chicken ready to go. Shredded uh, chicken and then cheese. And I'm just gonna do. After this boils, 
after this boils, it's gonna get thicker as it goes because you have a little flour. You can use cornstarch. I could, I'm using flour. So really you can, how you want it and how thick you want it. But I, you could put a spoon, a spoon and a half of flour, but I put a spoon because it gets really thick with the spoon of flour. You don't need it all that thick. Then I got my, my corn tortillas and then I'm gonna start dipping them. And then I'm ready to go. And you see my rice is coming out. And then you got, uh, this one I used the chicken broth for my rice today. So you can do it any way you want and put whatever you want in it. But I, um, when I do my chicken too, I use um, lemon pepper because it's really, really good in the oven like that. But I don't gotta, my back is really, really bad. So I'm just trying to do how I can and cook. Simpler. And it's simpler for me. And I could get out the kitchen faster. But this is how I do it. And then just let it boil until it gets really, really thick. And then I'll show you when I'm going to dip them. So I'm dipping them. I just go like that. And then you just put them there. And then it's the, see the, the sauce is a little thicker. If I put the sauce in just like that, and our, our, I don't, um, put my tortillas in oil they will dry they taste dry they like soak up all the enchilada sauce just doesn't come out right so I do it like that and then I put my cheese just on the line you can get done faster and then you get your chicken and I'm not putting all this because I have choosy family or she forgot and I sometimes I forget. So I'm just gonna put the chicken. You don't have to have like all the ingredients in your house. Whatever. <laughs> Take that one off. Cheese. Right here. Then you just put your chicken. If you want olives, put olives. So I'm just gonna roll them like that. So you just roll them. And then slide them over here. And then just put them, when you're ready, you can put them in the oven or you can do it like that. Um, have them, have them um, in the oven or you can serve them like that. I put them in the oven after this. And then you can just start serving. And then I think my rice is getting done already. Let me check my rice. Yep, look at that, my rice is done. I measure on my own. I don't. Um, I don't really use like measuring and all that. I more or less know, so I can more or less say it. But I don't really do it that way because I'm used to it. So I just go along. I just check to see how much I need. But this is about four cups of rice. Well, three and a half cups of rice in there. Three or three and a half or four. No more than four in the bowl five cups of water of chicken broth and that's how I did it this time and after these are done you just could put some cheese on top and throw them in the oven and then you have some there you go chicken enchiladas and then I'm gonna show you when everything's served and ready how they come out thank you for thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time hope you guys like my video I'm not used to this but I need to do it Amen and God bless. Amen. Thank you, Book. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I serve the rice right here. And then some enchiladas right here. And that's your meal for today.